What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing as Zeus. His name is Pegasus Rush, also known as Pamera. His opponent today in the red color playing as Poseidon. His name is Squash. The map is Oasis and I'm excited. I'm excited. This is a low hunt Oasis. But it's it's Poseidon, it's Zeus, it's going to be fun. It looks like it's a two Oasis Oasis, which is actually one of the more aggressive variants, uh, being uh, that the, the walling off and the amount of uh, maneuverability is a little bit easier. We do see some storehouse going up the top of the map, storehouse down the bottom of the map, yeah. as Squash is going to be moving in for something a bit funny here with this storehouse. But he's going for a standard, kind of standard build in a weird way. Uh, but it's it's all going to end up being the same thing with two villages on wood, two villages on gold. No real problems here. More uh, goats coming back home. And holy hunt. We've got a five giraffe, five zebra oasis. Do the quick math. 1,000 food of, of zebra. 2,000 food of giraffe. Is that correct? Did I get that right? No, that can't be right. It's a thousand food of zebra. Oh, that's 300, not 400. Um, so 300 times five, 1500. Is that right? My golly gosh. That's a lot. That's a lot of food. That That's, that's like, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Now, the only problem here for Pegasus Rush is the Lua can take some of his uh, his uh, giraffe. He's also got himself Blue Crystal Shard here, which is the plus 5% villager gold wood gather rate. We've also got over here the Wedged Eye, plus, or, uh, not plus, but a reduction in myth unit cost. So the reduction in myth unit cost here is great for Pegasus Rush because you can get those Centaur out. So honestly, if you ask me, what I think is going to happen here is we're going to see a Town Center grab here with a wall here. And that's going to allow Pegasus, sorry, that's going to allow Squash to grab this hunt, have this gold mine for safety. What I would say is the best play for uh, Pegasus Rush right now is to make himself uh, do a centaur strategy, which, as you can you can see that what uh, Peg uh, what Pegasus is doing is just a really fast classical age here. Uh, he wants to do a um, a classical fight into a fast mythic. It's so strong on a map like this because the timing hits like a truck. So we'll see if he's going to do that. He is a, a man about abuse. So uh, he might also just decide to go for a town center here because he's got a beautiful town center with a beautiful amount of hunt here. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him go fast to town center here either. And it is looking like... No, it's looking like he's going for center. So we'll see how it's going to go. So villagers yeah. finish up. He's got two villagers on favor. He's got seven villagers on wood. Normally you see eight villagers on wood here. Uh, and he's taking a villager off gold. So no second town center, just straight going aggressive here. And Squash, on the other hand, is going to be advancing through Hermes. He hasn't got himself out of Theseus. It's just a standard-ish fire, 4.15 advance time. So very, very uh, similar builds here. In fact, uh, it looks as if... Squash might be a little bit unhappy with how his lures behaved. He's grabbed two of his own giraffe. So he's, these giraffe here are not going to be so good. Uh, we also might actually see this town center get grabbed here in this situation. Um, which might be a way to go. So we'll see how it's all, uh, it all is going to happen. Uh, this advanced... Is this sub four? No, I think he's gone... The one villager more than four minutes. Sub four? It's close. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is the one villager above that, 404, right? Or 403 or something, 402, whatever it is. So it is a standard standard build, no, no cutting of villagers. And it's one of those things when you have a perfect map, when you have uh, 900 food, 1,000 food in your base, you can do these builds and you can get aggressive super, super early. And both squash and... And Pegasus Rush are very hyper aware of this right now, and as we are going to be seeing the town center coming up, we might actually need to see a ceasefire here, to be honest, because right now we're getting double, uh, double centaur coming over here. Uh, we're going to have a bolt to boot. We've got Jason Odysseus out already for Pegasus Rush, and he just needs to decide what he wants to do behind this. Uh, so the Theseus is here. 
and we'll see how it's going to go. Do we see Pegasus uh, Squash getting a Politan? Yes, we do. He's also already got the extra two favor as well for Squash. So nice play there as the Katoska boss uh, is distracting Amazing. just a little bit. Town Center is nearly halfway finished as the Jason going to come in here and start harassing. Idle Villages here for Squash need to get sorted out. But right now, we see the Town Center just about up. The Odysseus maybe just a little bit too slow, which does beg the question, had Pegasus gone for the sub four minute here, this Odysseus would have already been in here. These Centaur would have been here as well. And this Town Center might have been de de denied here. But we get one villager kill. Pegasus has to get out of here. And that is that. Squash getting himself husbandry. And Pegasus is going to have to figure out where to go to. For now, the Centaur are going to be looking for some raids. Do we see a attempt at a town center? It looks like we are going to see the town center grab now for Pegasus. He's not even going to bother with getting Sylvan Law here. So I was going to say he's not even going to bother with Sylvan Law. So this is just standard Zeus play. This is standard Zeus play. Nothing too fancy here for uh, for Pegasus. He's going to have his Sylvan Law. Centaur looking for some villager kills. Uh, some more villagers coming out over here. Thank you so much for the three months. Rule guarding dong. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I've just got Matrius um, chatting to me in the chat saying... I think if Peg went early hero, he wouldn't have had enough food to advance the classic from starting out. I wasn't saying early hero. I was saying one villager less advance with my build order, which allows you to get up one villager earlier than everyone else. And could have been a thing. Anyways, neither here nor there. Uh, Centaur coming over and trying to hit some villager kills here. He's going to probably swing around here. This would be a pretty annoying place for the Centaur to be, but the Hippolyta is coming in. Harassing the Odysseus. Odysseus uh, just happy to trade here because he does have the HP bonus. We do see an immediate refocus here from uh, from Pegasus Rush to try and take down the Theseus, which is going to do a lot. We do see the Centaur right in there, but Squash is so smart. Realizes what's happening here as the Theseus coming in. We see a nice micro yet again here from uh, Pegasus Rush, but it is looking like his Odysseus about to fall. 3 HP Theseus remaining here as we do see that Hippocon, uh, it's not Hippocon, Centaur has been dealt with. But the town center is up now for Pegasus, and we're going into a bit of a boomy game now on Oasis. This might, this could, this could potentially go very, very late here. Um, you, you, you see this town center getting grabbed. This gold mine fairly secure with these forests here. Uh, Pegasus Rush has whatever. He's got some good goats in his base, so he's, he's fine. Finishing up the giraffe here, um, as we do see the stable coming up now for Squash. Nothing too crazy here. And the Jason does end up getting sniped. And the Theseus is back out for Squash here. Another stable coming up here for Squash. House coming down as well. Prostagma. We see the Centaur now going to be swinging around, looking at this wood line yet again. But Squash is just like, I'm just over here. This is where my village is gathering wood from now. Out of mind. He's actually in a very, very defensive position. This is this is what makes Squash so much better than a lot of players. Do you see a single wall here from Squash? No. What Squash has done in this game is he has applied the fundamental search for weaknesses and remove them. Where right now does Squash have any weaknesses in his base? Not here, not here, not here. You only need three locations to look after. And Squash has figured it out. Does not need a single wall. All Where's the mobility that? in the world is not going to matter for these Santa. Oh my god. Apolita has some sort of magic arrows. They're finding the target twice on that Santa. Beautiful play there. Or maybe lucky play, maybe not beautiful, but I'm going to be seeing Pegasus still trying to figure out a way in here. So you can still go to town center straight to the Mythic Age here, which I would say is probably a little bit stronger than making the stables uh, because you've got all of this food here. You can start farming. 
no problems. Do not need to make units here in this game. Um, it's gonna you're gonna have plenty of gold. You can snipe off your opponent's Hippocon if he decides to build them. I wouldn't be surprised if Squash in this position here is not gonna build too many Hippocon either. Uh, you might want to build a couple of Hippocon to snipe off the Apollita, but again, there's nowhere really to fight as we are now seeing the uh, house wall with the actual wall coming up here for uh, Pegasus Rush. Oh, sorry, for Squash, but Pegasus Rush coming in with his Centaur might be able to snipe a villager here as he does micro that nicely, gets one villager kill, retreats away, pushing it onto this stable, trying to apply some pressure from all sides of the map. All the units are coming in, some forward military buildings, four Pegasus rushes, he's gonna use those as a bit of a building wall in the middle of the map here, I like that, but he is deciding to stay in the classical age right now as he snaps another villager uh, and he may have managed to equalize on the villager count here if we actually check the villager count out no slightly in favor of uh of squash now because he's had that town center for that little bit longer here than uh, pegasus rush has but these villages are very open now as this wall here from squash not going to be enough we see the moon wall coming in and the centaur is now trapped unfortunately on the other side uh as some hippocon dropping out of the stables here nice play from squash baiting that in as the polita does come in the hippocon going after each other as a villager stray villager coming in here not sure what the go is with that one as the centaur will have to retreat back and forces a ceasefire Forces a ceasefire. I'm not sure what Pegasus Rush is gonna is thinking there, because now no counter for the earthquake. Earthquake can be absolutely huge here. Take down so much of what uh, of what Pegasus of, of what Zeus needs to defend. Uh, so we'll see. The earthquake is going to be huge now for Squash. It's in a complete win condition, and Squash now again. I don't. I get it, but I don't get it at the same time. Yes, there's going to be places where you can potentially raid with these Hippocon. You just don't need to defend anything. So you can just say, look, let my opponent build all the units he wants. I just go to the Mythic Age. Enjoy life. There is like been this thing that's been set up for years because it's just been how the game has been played in that the idea is I just want to get to full population and then tech. But... That's not actually how the game needs to be played in any way, shape, or form. You do not need to get full population in this game. If you have no weaknesses, you do not need army to defend it. If you have weaknesses, you need army to defend it. That's kind of the that's kind of the rule. And now Pegasus, uh, sorry, Squash is definitely going to have some weaknesses in that he's going to need to get this uh, this extra gold mine over here. And I'd love to see some walls coming up here as we are now starting to see the raids, but. Squash is going to return back home now. He does have a little bit of favor income, so he is trying to get himself out. Spirited Charge, which is going to be huge. The Toxodi, Santar, Hippocon Ball. Very, very strong for uh, Pegasus Rush here. So we'll see how that's going to go. I just love Squash's base. Just look at how beautiful it is. It's like, you know, you know how... You know how like you have the the casuals who go, oh man, you 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 competitive players, you don't even care about your buildings. You just throw them down anywhere. Just trying to do everything as fast as you can. I just want to sit back and I just want to build a good base. Squash is like, guys, guys, just check my base out. How beautiful does this look? Maybe it doesn't look beautiful to a casual player, but look at the farms. I mean, these farms here are all bad, but they just look beautiful. Everything looks so pretty. As we see the uh, Hippocon coming, was this a, a timing? No. Is it coming through? It is coming through. He doesn't even wait on the timing. He just realizes how much of an advantage he has with those Hippocon. Completely cleans Pegasus Rush's army up here as the Centaur trying to dart around. And one Hippolyta enough to just say, get out of here, Centaur. And Squash takes the lead on the score. And when you've got the lead on the score against uh, the Santa army, that means you've got a significant advantage because those Santa inflate. Those Santa inflate your score crazily. As Squash just uh, doing his thing. He is in a fantastic position. 116 of 130 population. Can easily hold this gold mine now. I still like to see some walls here just to make sure that it's all good. Uh, 
Pegasus, on the other hand, he's doing okay. He's got he's gotten all of his farms out himself. He's got a good economy. He's on the gold. He's still got some units out. He does not have Spirited Charge yet, so there's still an advantage for Squash. Squash is going to be trying to send some side builds over here as well as villages are falling. Toxodes still doing some good damage from behind. Uh, Squash has got himself three stables, four stables only, a couple of idle units over here as the army is starting to fight here. And villagers even helping out as I think Squash is a little bit concerned. He does have himself ceasefire, but Aphrodite is coming in. He does not need to ceasefire this. Curse will come down. Curse will do so much damage. Squash with lots of wood in the bank. He can throw down a whole bunch of buildings if he wants to as well. Pegasus, on the other hand, does not have any uh, chance of going to the next age. He is full send right now. Uh, full commit to try and deny this gold mine. But with the curse, with the free Nemean lion, uh, the fact there's no heroes currently in here for, for uh, Pegasus Rush is going to spell complete doom here. Nice micro from Pegasus uh, nonetheless to snipe those Hippocon as they are swinging in here. But once the Hippocon get onto those Toxodes, they completely start to dice them up as more units coming in here for Pegasus Rush. There is the Aphrodite. There is the curse. There is the free Nemean lion. And uh, Pegasus is going to continue to try and push in here, but he will have to pull back. What is the next step here for Pegasus? He's going to throw up the armory. He's getting himself a third talent center here, so no, uh, no heroic age incoming just yet. Villages over onto this gold mine as well, as Squash can now decide to go straight to the mythic age, build a granary here. So that's the missing that's the missing ingredient here in in squash's perfection of these farms is the granary he's got so much wood in the back it just it's just it's just me and my ocd uh, <laughs> but Peggy's is getting pushed back here he has 123 130 pop more farms getting thrown up over here as villagers getting taken off of the gold mine and we see the army just maybe a little bit too strong here. Uh, Squash can also get himself out heavy cavalry if he chooses. There, it's coming in now. Uh, Shaft mine as well coming through. It's going to help out a lot with the gold income. And also, you can go straight in with uh, straight in with quarry here as well. Because look at those resources. Why not? Quarry is actually huge for the Greek gods. As uh, Pegasus Rush going to be retreating back through this gate, feeling good. There's a market up in the corner as well as Pegasus trying to throw up this wall over here, but he's already been beaten to it as Squash has snuck up a thing already here. And I mean, Squash, Pegasus doesn't need to give up here. He's got, he still has Apollo. He still has Underworld up his, up his belt. Whenever you have Underworld, you've still got a chance to win the game. Remember that because it means that you can just focus on getting Siege, turtling up and trying to hit an underworld timing on the back of your opponent's base. The problem is Squash has got Ceasefire still and Squash has got potentially uh, Artemis. And when I say potentially Artemis, Squash is going Artemis. Which means Earthquake, which means Dead Town Center, which means ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Also, it means that underworld is not going to be that useful. We are seeing these walls getting thrown up over here as Pegasus coming in to try and wall this side off. Nice play there. Pegasus won. Uh, he's got 90 population. He's completely stopped production here as he realizes he needs a tech switch. He is going to be tech switching into hoplites here uh, and seeing what he can do. He might be going for a full hoplite army underworld, which is an option as well. There, thank you so much for the five months, Moose Muncher. It's a great name, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Village is retreating back into the town center now, trying to get away from him. As an Anemian lion, too strong. And we do have the Odysseus out there. There's no Olympic parentage here for Pegasus Raj as he's retreating away. Hoplite's coming in. Might need a Heracles or something as well to deal with this. He does have a Manticore somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. Maybe it was sniped off already? I don't think so. I'm not sure where it went to. It's bad. Villagers trying to get back onto this gold mine, but it's just the, these hoplites are just no good. Spirited Charge Hippocon, Heavy Hippocon do beat out these unupgraded uh, hoplites and an immediate tap out of the Artemis and Earthquake comes down. GG. Uh, this, is just, this is just what makes Squash so good. This is just what makes Squash so good. 
what he did that was immaculate here is he, he firstly he identified that this was a weakness secondly he identified that he doesn't need to defend this weakness he just needs to not be here he just said well this isn't a weakness i'm just going to come over here this is absolutely huge for squash so he's on here he's got a gold mine over here that he said i don't need to defend this gold mine i can i can make this not a weakness by having my heroes here and putting a building wall up and then he just had his villagers on go and he's just like sitting here living the dream and squ and then pegasus who gets out the early santa just couldn't do anything with them now all this being said i do think that this matchup is currently being played slightly inefficiently for the zeus the zeus player now, the Zeus player might want to get two town centers. Two town centers is probably better. But my initial gut feeling here is what you want to do is you want to go eight villages wood, making centaur, going straight to the Mythic Age through Hera. Because what that does is it gives you access to Bellerophon for raids. It gives you access to Hera, Lightning Storm, to kill off the classical army of the Poseidon player. The Centaur will keep you locked up. You're probably hitting the Mythic Age at about 10 to 11 minutes. Very, very quick Mythic Age off of one town. So if you go two town center, it might be a little bit later. It can be very, very strong. And the real secret to it is, so long as you can get to the Heroic Age, it doesn't matter how much food you have. On this map... Pegasus had five giraffe and the goat. So he wouldn't even need to do this. But if you get to the heroic age, you just chuck everything onto gold, you buy mythic age, you live the dream uh, on a lower hunt map. Those are the secrets that I think are very good here for the Zeus player. I'd be interested to see a high level Zeus player trying to execute that strategy against this Poseidon strategy here. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know if it's actually any good. It's just my theory crafting. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.